Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech UK. Today's video is looking back at a unboxing and overview that we did for Plexter and their M5 Pro SSD that they kindly supplied us for review and testing. In addition to that review, we've also included our test results from our series of testing that we've done with the SSD and other SSDs to compare that with. One thing I do want to quickly point out is that the audio quality on the beginning of the, this video was done some time ago using a very bulk standard microphone. So let's get started. Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech UK. We're giving an overview for Plexter. This is their M5 Pro Extreme SSD. Now, this device is available in 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and 512 gigabytes. And also, we have the 256 version here. Looking at the front of the box, obviously it's nice, shiny and blue, so it's uh, probably designed to stand out from all the other SSDs if you were to line them out uh, in, in a row. Looking at the front of the box, obviously we do have the Plexta logo right up at the top here, along with an image of the actual drive itself. Up at the top it does mention that it is 7mm thick, so it's ideal for the ultra slim notebooks, and that it reaches 100,000 IOPS. Uh, which is really good with regards to the speed. Down here there is a logo that mentions the true speed which is sustainable high performance and true protect which is unequaled security and data accuracy. And obviously it is SATA 3, 6 gigabytes, 2.5 inch solid state drive and it does also include a 3.5 inch bracket as well. Looking around the box, so we do have the Plexta logo and the fact that it is a two and a half inch, in, inch SSD and that's about it really. Apart from on the bottom we do have the uh, particular part number and also the serial number. On the back of the box obviously it's going to be a little bit difficult for you guys to see but it does mention about the actual buffer on this drive. It is for this particular one 256 gigabyte the actual buffer, the DRAM cache, is 512 megabits of DDR3. Now the speeds on this particular model is up to 540 megabits a second for the sequential read, 460 megabits per second for the sequential write speed, and the random read speed, the IOPS, is 100,000, and the random write speed, the IOPS, is up to 86,000. It is compatible with Windows, Linux and Mac operating systems and also comes with a 5 year warranty which is really good to see. So let's have a look inside the box and pull the content out. That's not going to stand up. Okay so looking around the cardboard packaging I see there is a sticky label on here that tells you where you can go to download the actual software for this particular drive uh, so obviously you do have uh, the installation keys for that on this side we have the bracket the three and a half inch bracket so let's just pull that out of the bag I see it does feature the Plexta logo on the inside as well so it's nice to see that they've included that I see this does normally come sealed but I've already had a look at the drive just to see what it does look like and here we have the quick installation guide in English and also other foreign languages as well and also the information about the warranty the five year warranty now hidden away here we have two packs of four screws obviously for connecting it to the bracket and also for connecting the bracket to the case so move that to one side and in this anti-static bag we'll, we'll reveal the M5 Pro Extreme and there it is, it's nice and shiny uh, I do really like the, the actual look, the cosmetic look of this drive uh, looks really good indeed uh, it's definitely not the sort of drive that you want to be hidden away uh, within a sort of caddy of, of, of hard drives um, if you're able to put this sort of thing on, on show in your case then this really is a really nice SSD to, to put on, on show 
On the back, uh, I still do have the, the serial number, the model number, the capacity, etc. So, overall, really impressed with the actual packaging and obviously the, the look of the SSD. Obviously, the proof in the pudding is the actual speed and the testing. Just before we get any further, I'd like to go over the specification for the test bench that we used in order to obtain our test data. The motherboard is a Z87i from MSI. It's a cracking little board and has all the features that we need in order to test our storage medium. The CPU comes in the form of the Intel i7-4-77K. This has not been overclocked and this is running as standard. The RAM comes from Crucial and this is the ballistic 16GB low profile kit that runs at 1600 MHz and again this has not been overclocked. The boot drive comes in the form of the Crucial M500 480GB SSD. So moving on to our test results, Plexta claim that they can get up to 540 megabits per second on the sequential read speed and 460 megabits per second on the write speed. Our tests are done using Crystal Disk Mark software and the software itself has been opened up as standard and run in the standard configuration while the drive is empty. First set of results, the drive managed to produce 386.3 megabits per second on the read and 339.7 megabits per second on the write speed. Now, obviously you're going to notice that this is a little bit, quite a bit lower really to be fair compared to what Plexta claimed the drive is capable of and when they did their testing obviously they're probably going to be using various different bits of um, software to perform their testing um, and obviously different components so test results will vary depending on what system you plug the drive into. Moving on to the second test that we did, we did manage to achieve a little bit better performance. 390.3 megabits per second on the read, 341.2 megabits per second on the write. And finally, moving on to the last test, we achieved 381.7 read and 336.1 megabits per second on the write. So the figures that you can see in the middle is an average across all three test results. So the average speed that we managed to achieve on the read was 386.1 and the write speed was 339.0. So how does that compare to other SSDs on the market and more particular other SSDs that we've reviewed and tested? Now as you can see the Plexta M5 Pro is quite low down in the list compared to uh, other drives like the Samsung Drive, the Team Group, Crucial M500 etc. But one thing that is really key to actually note is the overall performance of the read and write speed. If you look at the two Kingston drives below and above this particular drive, they both perform exceptionally well with regards to the read speed, but the write speed does let the actual drives down a little bit. Whereas with the Plexta M5 Pro, you're getting more or less identical speeds with regards to the read and write. And overall, that could actually produce a better performing drive because you are actually able to read and write to the drive at more or less an identical speed. So how does this then compare with regards to the price per gigabyte? Now all the prices on this are correct as of the 22nd of April and the prices have been taken from Amazon.co.uk. The Plexta M5 Pro comes in at 72 pence per gigabyte which is actually quite high compared to the Crucial and I'll see the Kingston SSDs. The drive itself when doing the uh, price checking is coming out at £92.73 in the UK. Now as I've already mentioned the drive itself obviously does perform very well um, with regards to its read and write speeds being very close together and myself personally this would be something that I'd look at. If you're looking for a sort of 128GB SSD that you're going to potentially look as a not just a boot drive but something that you can load programs onto, write files to etc. Then you're going to be looking for a drive that performs similar with regards to its read and write speed. So with that in mind the Plexta M5 Pro with regards to its price and its overall performance is not that bad of a choice when it comes to a SSD. So we hope you liked the video for the Plexta M5 Pro. Be interesting to know your guys' thoughts about the actual performance that we managed to achieve from the SSD. 
and it would also be quite interesting to find out what you guys look for with regards to the speed of an SSD. Are you looking for something that performs quite similar with regards to the read and write speeds, or are you looking for something that is just outright fast when it comes to reading from the drive? So we look forward to seeing you in our next video. We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.